Y'all know something we're always trying to sweep under the rug? Cheetos. No, where to put these guys? Mops and brooms, we're using them all the time, but we don't have a great storage spot for them. I prop mine up in the pantry, but when I go to get some Cheetos, I knock them all over the floor. Not good, but Shaney to the rescue, we have a plan for you guys today that's gonna solve all your storage problems and keep your Cheetos safe. That's right, let's build a DIY utility storage cabinet. And guess what? It's pretty too. Storage on three. One, two, three. Storage. We are building the frame and the door of this cabinet using Prime's pine boards, and that's because we're gonna be painting it afterwards, so most of the work was done for us, and they're really straight too, which is really nice. So what we'll do first is we'll build the outside. Like, what would you call that? The shell? The frame. The frame. Is it? Because we're kind of building a frame the carcass. for the carcass. We're going to build the carcass. She loves that word. And for the record, I still don't support her usage of the word carcass in any of these videos. Carcass. <laughs> and these are one by six boards. And they are going to be the sides. And we are attaching the end boards using pocket hole screws. So we are going to attach each end using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. And with glue, don't forget that. We will be linking to the plans from our website in the description box so you can get all the cuts and everything that you need. All right, so once that's done, we can flip this towards us to get this other board attached. So I am using a Craig right angle clamp on this and it's so cool because it fits inside the pocket hole and then it holds my other board and that way I can get them perfectly lined up and it's, it's kind of like having a third hand. Or an extra really sister. Nice. Or an extra Or actually. a sister with three hands. Whoop. All right, so we've got the main carcass done. We're going to take this off and we're going to start building the face frame. So these are just one by two boards and we are attaching them with pocket hole screws. What was your motivation for building this wit? Well, as y'all can see, we just moved into our new office and we don't have a really great spot to store our Swiffer in our room. So I thought, you know what? A lot of people have this problem. We'll fix it for us and then we'll share the idea. So I'll push this to the side. Ash, you wanna grab the carcass again? Enter carcass. I'll just stand here and frame. See what I did there? My frame's bigger than yours. <laughs> You're so lame. So we're gonna add a line of wood glue around the entire frame real quick. So we are lining this up flush with the edge of our frame and we're going to attach everything with 18 gauge, one and a quarter inch bread nails. Now that's done, we're gonna flip this around and we're adding our support boards. These are important because they're gonna hold all the weight of this cabinet. So we have three quarter inch pocket holes going into the tops and bottoms of our carcass and also into the sides. But we're using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws and wood glue to attach them. So Ashley made a great point earlier about this being a great project for renters. All this is going to leave is two holes in the wall where our studs are, and those are so simple to fill with just a little um, wood filler and paint. And the, your landlord will never know you had it hanging there. Now, the shell of this is built. Um, if you want to add shelves to yours, this would be the time to do it. We have a better plan, so we're not gonna do shelves in ours, and we are just going to move on to the next step. She said better plan, so basically if you wanna put shelves in this, she's saying it's a really bad Ter idea. Terrible idea. Definitely don't do a shelf. Okay, we'll move this Moving off it. to the side. Insert shanty. Now we are building the door, and this is gonna be so fun. The frame of this door is one by fours, and we are going to attach the short pieces to the long pieces using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. Now we're gonna attach those middle two pieces. You can refer to the plans for the exact placement of those, and we're attaching them the same way with one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. We've got the entire frame done, and now we're gonna get the back panel and attach it to the back side of this frame. And we're adding a line of wood glue, a big glob of wood glue around the whole back side of this door. And we're attaching it with three quarter inch staples through the plywood and into the frame. So let's flip this over and show them what we have so far. So cute. It is gonna be so cute. Everything at this point is done. So yes. now we need to go paint it. Yeah, but I have a partner in crime on that, so that's good. Once it's painted, we are going to be adding those Preston panels 
We glazed ours with a gray glaze that makes them look kind of cute and vintage. And then we also did a gray paint on it and it actually, they match our cabinets really well. They do. And now it's time to add all of the hardware. We can hang it up on the wall and hide all of our stuff. How cute is this? It is amazing and I love that we've got all those ugly cleaning supplies and brooms out of sight and they're in something so beautiful. I know, and when I walk into a space and see this, I would never guess what was behind the door. It's like our dirty little secret. That's right. Oh, you're so funny. And we love the hardware, adding those metal corners in the pool. It just sets it over the edge. It gives it a different look. But remember, you can make it your own. Use any kind of hardware that you want. You can paint it any color. You can add a chalkboard to the front, whatever you want to do. You can even add shelves on the inside. And you don't want to miss another video, so make sure that you subscribe below. And be sure to use hashtag ShaneyGashik when you share your projects. And happy building. I prop my up. <laughs> it would glue. Don't forget that. Which is where? Did you use it on your cabinet? Mm hmm Carcass. <laughs> Part, we're attached to mosquito. Here we're part of the plants. Okay. Is it okay. a mosquito? Yes, okay. they're everywhere. All right.